Our next topic is sparse matrix. A matrix in which there are more number of zero elements are there. I have an example matrix of order 8 by 9. And you can see that it is having very few non-zero elements like 3, 8, 10 and 4, 2, 6, 5, 9. There are very few non-zero elements. If I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, only 8 non-zero elements are there. Mostly in statistical data or survey data, data may be represented in the form of a matrix and there may be a lot of zero values. If so, then if we are using sparse matrices in our program, then we may be having a lot of zero values for which we may be wasting space and also processing time. So again, the same thing, we want to store a matrix in less amount of space and the processing is also less. So what we should do, we should store only non-zero elements. So for storing non-zero elements, there are more than one approach available. One method is coordinate list and the second one is compressed sparse row. So these are two representation, coordinate list and compressed sparse row. And this coordinate list is also called as three column representation. So first we will see coordinate list or three column representation. For coordinate list, for every non-zero element, we need three things. First is its row number, second is column number and the element itself. So for three, row number is one, column number is eight and the element is three. For 8, this one, row number is 2, column number is 3 and the element is 8. So we will have a tuple of 3 values that is row number, column number and the element. So we can have the list of tuples, so we can call them as coordinates or we can represent them in the form of columns, so that is 3 columns. First column is row and the second column is column number and the third one is element itself. Now let us represent those non-zero values in these three columns. So first non-zero value is 1, 8, 1, 8 and 3. I have left the first row blank. So at the end I will show you what is the use of that first row. Then 8, 2, 3, 8, 2, 6, 10. Then 8, row number is 2, column number is 3, element is 8. So 2, 3, and 8. Likewise, I will fill up all those non-zero elements. So here I have filled three columns with row number, column number of each element and the element itself. Now in this one, first row I left it as empty that I can use it for storing information about the sparse matrix. So about the sparse matrix means what are these dimensions? Eight rows and nine columns. 8 rows, 9 columns. Then how many non-zero elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 non-zero elements are there. So first row we can use it for number of rows and then number of columns and number of non-zero elements. So this is a commonly used method. Using this method I will show you how to perform addition and subtraction of matrices. But before that let us look at the second method that is compressed sparse rows. Now second method, compressed sparse row. In this method, a sparse matrix represented using three arrays. So the first array is list of non-zero elements. I will write down non-zero elements. 3, 8, 10, 4, 2, 6, 9 and 5. So this is a list of non-zero elements. I have taken all those non-zero elements in the same order in which they are appearing. Don't change the order like first, ten, first 8 then 10. Don't change the order 10 and 8. Next. We need an array for rows. For rows. So this is important one. Just watch it carefully. So we will have an array of rows. In this the very first thing is 0. The very first value is 0. So initial value is 0. Our indices are starting from 1 onward. So this is for 0th index. 0th index. Then next. In first row how many elements are there? One element is there. 
first row this is for row number then in second row how many elements are there second row two elements are there then plus one that one also so we'll write three here so this three is nothing but two elements in the next row plus one so this will take the cumulative of number of elements initially there is zero then first row having one element then till second row total three elements are there then in third row there are no elements so it should be zero but this previous number we will take it so this shows that three minus three there are zero elements here three minus one there are two elements here so we'll take the cumulative of the number of elements for each row even I will write down the indices for row number. This is for zero row. There is no zero row. This is first row. This is second row. And this is third row. Then in the fourth row, there is one element. So it is four. One more. In this three plus one. That is four. So this is for fourth row. Then fifth row, there are no elements. So let it be four only. Then sixth row, there are there is one element. So this will be five. Then seventh row, there is one element. Then it will be six. 8 row there are 2 elements then this will be 8 so this is for 4th row 5th 6th 7th and 8 so for every row will contain the number of its own elements plus the value in the previous row then the third one is column array for j values so this is j a now this element is present in 8 column this is corresponding to the element this is in 8 column then this is in third column third column this 10 is in sixth column six for every element we will have a column number this is in first column and two this is in third column then six is in fourth column then nine is in second column then five is in fifth column so as many elements are there that many columns are there but here as many rows are there plus one because starts from zero onwards so this is another method that is called as compressed sparse row let us analyze this little bit upon space this is a sparse matrix of 8 cross 9 total 72 elements including zeros that is zeros and non-zero together there are 72 elements and if each element is an integer and is taking two bytes so this is 144 bytes so if we focus on the number of elements that is sufficient but here how much space is required eight non-zero elements then this one eight non-zero elements then what about this one total eight rows are there plus one so this is nine so this depends on number of rows and this too depends on number of non-zero elements so total how many elements are there 25 elements are there then if all these are integers then require into two 50 bytes of memory so that is 144 and this is 50 so almost it is 30 percent of that space so 70 percent of reduction in the size of memory so 30 percent of memory is reduced if you are following this method so similarly in the coordinate list or the three column method also the memory is saved now I will take two small examples of sparse matrix and show you how addition of sparse matrix can be done. 